Hey guys, Socket here, and this is my submission for the Path of Exile hideout competition. And we're using the Coral Hideout as a base, and my theme was to try and tell a short story uh, through the new uh, massive hideout. So we start off with a shipwreck, and as you come up the shore, you can kind of see how planks and spice have been scavenged off the boat. Uh, there was actually like a pre existing uh, church here that the Faith is trying to rebuild. And you can see that through like the scaffolding and the buildings and the hodgepodge planks. Now, since they wrecked their main ship because of all the coral and stuff, they realized that to get any supplies in, they can only do so through small rowing boats through this uh, pier that they've established. And you can kind of see how they're starting to slowly get the relics off the small ships docked around the back here uh, to build back up uh, their little church vibes. Now from that you can see that they've got some uh, small inhabitants come, coming together. They've got some people on watch duty, some are doing a slightly better job than others. And a nice little collection of cats and dogs which came with them on the ship. Now much to the annoyance uh, of the church, rather, they are not the only inhabitants of the island. Um, and as a result of that they had to really sort of barricade themselves in. Now this island actually has lots of rival camps who have a somewhat uneasy peace, but they're mostly putting up with each other for now. Here you can see the lookout sort of tower um, for the second encampment. And this encampment is a lot more primitive in sort of nature. As you come on through, you can see how they've got like their secondary, like this is kind of their, we'll see what the church boys are doing. And this is the, if we have to, we can close gate up here. We have Einhar doing Einhar business um, with his little stall and you can see he's got his hunting supplies all out and about. Uh, one of his deers having a nice little drink. And this is a much more sort of piratey, slightly more tribal kind of vibe. Here you can see Zana with their spoils um, in their wrecked uh, cabin. Jun with all of her research material and uh, spoils of war. Another very important thing for me when it came to making this hideout was have it be a hideout which actually functions. So the exile side of things is a lot more self-contained here. So you have the waypoint, map device, stash, and then a tidal priestess. So I wanted a hideout which told a story but was actually incredibly practical. So you have everything very self-contained um, for the main player actions and then you've got the more kind of like narrative stuff off to the side. Coming up, you can kind of see a old hut which existed actually before all of these newcomers came in here. And Nico started uh, pilfering uh, gems and supplies uh, from this cave that he's found, which has this weird sort of ominous uh, green emerald glow about it. Now, you're probably wondering, okay then, so if they were like pre existing you know sort of people on the island what happened to them where did they all go well the faith had a slightly more bloody way of handling with the inhabitants the exiles kind of just kicked them out um it's a bit unsavory though so they kind of got kicked out of the main church but here you can kind of see the rather hapless uh inhabitants of the island and a not so hapless uh priest who's been doing some sacrifices hopefully to get the upper hand which will let the faith get rid of the uh, islanders. But he's kind of just taken over this once pre-existing little hut here. You can see he's got his uh, rather ghastly supplies building up. And uh, I also wanted it so that everyone on the island can bail quickly if they have to. So, you know, it's all the little groups have their own little, you know, boats ready to go. that have been dragged up from the shore. And we've got a little bit of uh, wildlife kind of chilling off on this little private animal beach. Now, thankfully, one of the... Uh, island inhabitants did manage to survive and you can see a scared mother kind of nursing her child kind of going yep yeah, this is all slightly slightly skewy and uh, yeah that's kind of that so the reason why i picked the coral hideout was it's massive it let me tell this big story and i hadn't really seen uh, many if any hideouts before which were like lots of different groups all kind of doing their own thing so that's kind of that but anyway, I'm Taki, have a good day, and before I go, I'll quickly put a map in so you can see how that looks. And again, I wanted just a nice, simple, clean map device for the player, so I went for the Aspirant's Portal, which ties in perfectly with the colours of the beach, because we're all about that colour coordination, by the way. See ya!